I am using NIME Analytics Platform already, and I'm quite happy with it. Why would I need NIME Server? What are the additional benefits provided by NIME Server? NIME Server extends the power of NIME Analytics Platform beyond individual data scientists to everyone else in the company. It provides collaboration among teams and individuals, provides execution automation, deployment options, and workflow management and monitoring functionalities, giving more freedom and flexibility in workflow development and production. I've built my workflow, and now it's time to get some feedback on it. So I've shared the workflow with my team on Lime Server. They can correct it and rate it via the Workflow Hub. The Workflow Hub is a feature of Lime Server, providing users an interactive overview of the workflows stored on the server, including the image, meta information, and the required plugins for the workflow. The Workflow Hub also allows users to give a rating, assign tags, and comment on the workflow. The Workflow Hub is a way to encourage discussion among stakeholders about data science problems. It helps to maintain knowledge in the case of staff turnover and foster best practices and the reuse of workflows. NIME also provides a public Workflow Hub for the NIME community to share and rate workflows. All of these workflows are available on the NIME Examples server, which you can access from within NIME in the top left-hand corner of the NIME Workbench. The public NIME Workflow Hub can be accessed here. Here, community members can also share their own workflows and show their appreciation of the work by other community members by adding ratings and commenting on workflows. To access the NIME Workflow Hub, you just need your NIME Forum credentials. Not only is it possible to share and reuse workflows, but you can also share and reuse parts of workflows in the form of metanodes. For example, database connections, logical groups of nodes, complex Python or R scripts, and all in a way that is easily reusable for a new user. To create an instance of a metanode template in your local workflow, just drag and drop the node into your workflow editor. This creates a read-only link to the original metanode template. Once your workflow is developed and tested, it's just a few clicks away from being deployed on NIME server. There are three main deployment options through NIME Server for your workflow. Run via remote execution, run via web browser, run as REST API. To execute your workflow remotely, you just need one click. Right click it in the local workspace and then select Deploy to Server. The window that pops up allows us to select the destination workflow group. To run your workflow from a web browser, you need to use NIME Web Portal. NIME Web Portal is a feature of NIME Server. It provides a web interface that lists all accessible workflows, allows you to execute them and investigate the results. This is a central element when developing guided analytics applications. All workflows deployed to NIME Server are accessible from the Web Portal. By introducing JavaScript views and QuickForm nodes to your workflow metanodes, you get an interactive web-based application, exposing just the right level of complexity to the user. From NIME Analytics Platform in the NIME Server Mount Point, if we right-click the workflow and select Open in Web Portal, we can execute the workflow directly on the Web Portal. This page, for instance, compares the performance of the models that have been trained on the airline dataset. All workflows deployed to NIME Server are also accessible via REST API. This makes integration with external tools really straightforward. To simplify things even further, the API for individual workflows is browsable by industry standard Swagger UI views for OpenAPI. From the NIME Server mount point, we can simply right-click the workflow and select the option Show API Definition. Workflows can be set to run on a schedule using the scheduler of NIME Server. It's just a case of right-clicking the server workflow and choosing when the job should be run. Alternatively, you can decide to execute the workflow remotely once via remote execution. 
Once my workflow is on Nime's server and running, how can I monitor its progress? Or how can I change its settings before execution? The Job View feature provides a view of the Nime workflows that are on Nime's server, enabling users to make changes to the configuration and view results at workflow runtime. This is a really useful feature in situations where it is not possible to run Nime Analytics Platform on high-performance hardware required for processing extremely large datasets or working with GPUs for deep learning applications. Remote control of jobs running on Nime server is available by right-clicking the workflow and selecting View Job. We've now reached the security and administration part of the server. After deployment, it's possible to set permissions on workflows and or data files in order to comply with data protection policies, internal business rules or team processes. In this particular case, I want to allow only the education and development teams access to the workflow. It's also possible to integrate authentications with corporate LDAP, Active Directory setups, and manage permissions for groups and individual users. For large deployments of NIME Analytics Platform, keeping control of common and approved preferences and allowing connections to databases, proxy settings, Python or R settings becomes difficult. However, the management feature of NIME Server makes it easy to centrally manage all client preferences. When deploying or updating a workflow, it's always important to keep track of changes. The first component consists of taking workflow snapshots, enabling you to roll back to a previous version if necessary. At the end of an intense day of development, two workflows might look the same, but in reality they probably aren't. The workflow difference functionality highlights the differences between two workflows so that you can see how they vary. If we want to check the difference between two versions of the same workflow stored on the NIME server as snapshots, you select these versions from the server history window, then right-click one of the selected workflows and select Compare. In the web portal, on the administration page, you can access the jobs that have been running on NIME server. In fact, the jobs page lists all currently available jobs on NIME server. The table displays the job status icon, its name, the workflow the job is associated with, its owner, and notifications. As load increases due to more demanding workflows and or more users accessing workflows, more scalable solutions become necessary. So how can scalability be achieved for your workflow? There are several ways to scale NIME workflows. The first way is to use a distributed platform, that is via in-database execution or via execution on a big data cluster. The second way is to move to a more powerful machine, for example in the cloud. NIME Analytics Platform and NIME Server are also available as cloud services on Amazon AWS and Microsoft Azure markets. Companies can leverage the full memory, GPU or maximum CPUs available in the cloud instance for data science IT operations, or choose a bigger instance when needed. A third way is to use the distributed executors of NIME Server. NIME Server allows the execution of workflows to be distributed over several parallel executors across separate hardware resources. This allows NIME Server to scale much better with increasing computational loads. The NIME distributed executors rely on the NIME REST interface and on the message queuing system RabbitMQ.